Welcome back. We are continuing with Smash Brothers. Whoever's playing Me Gunner is pretty good. Yeah, he's done for 163. Goodbye. There's no time. I'm trying to figure out what else to talk about. What am I doing? So I have a um, I have a Facebook account, a Twitter account, and an Instagram account, all of which are are um, associated with my channel. So make sure. Make sure to check those out. I'll give you a sneak peek of what oh, I'm done for. He could do it though. I don't believe in him, but he could. Or she. Sweet. Oh, he aimed it the wrong way. He's done for. So I have this, um, on Instagram I put three food, three food items now. And one of them is the most delicious mustard. It's called Grey Poupon, but it is not regular gray poupon. If you've ever had it, it comes in a little tiny jar. So there's regular gray poupon, then there's this stone ground mustard. It smells very strong. It's very good. It's like like um I'm just practicing right now.
basically mustard in drug form. It's very, very powerful. And I'll have it with hot dogs or sandwiches. Sandwich. So, yeah, check out, check out those. This, I don't really like, I can't be alone in this, I'm not a big fan of three player Smash Brothers matches, they just aren't very, very smart, it just feels like you're The best thing you can do is just run away and let the other two people see so like look what I'm doing, this is working real well for me. That was funny. missed I have a funny Smash Brothers related story to tell. So I was at a tournament and I played against, before the tournament started, I played against two different Sonic players. I don't know if I already told this story, but I'll tell it again. I have no idea actually. Again, one of those two. That's not good. Good. So, I played against a bunch of people before the tournament, and two of them were Sonic players. And all they did was run away. Typical Sonic player. Um, so it was funny because I was starting to get kind of worked up about it and so as a joke I say because I play against two of these Sonic players two of them I don't know if I just said that I'm actually going to lose this match if I don't pay attention So they're both running away, and, and the tournament's about to start, and I jokingly say, Oh, you, should, you two should play against each other. Um, because I hate them both. And the guy's like, is that, is that what you two want? And they're both like, yeah, sure. 
So they end up both getting disqualified because for the entirety of the match nobody's attacking anybody so nobody loses a stock and it's just they both get disqualified because they can't finish a match you know you only have so much time in a match in online play so I felt like they got exactly what they deserved they were not happy with me they seemed very upset with me. It's a really funny story, I think. Who's on my team? Okay, it's the me gunner again. This Dark Samus player is just a jerk. He's like, I'll play a team match and then I'll just go off to the side and shoot. It's not good. Yeah, we're both dead from that one. I am so hungry. Get them both. Nice, we won this one. I'm going to back up a little and let him just shoot the guy. Got him. I need some liquids. Throat is dry. What I really want is another one on one match. Those are fun. I've been watching this show called, I mean, I already finished watching it, but it's called Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. It's about these, um, you almost certainly haven't seen it, but there's a, an old cartoon. I don't know how old, maybe it's the 60s or something, or 70s, I don't know, called Harvey Birdman, and he's a superhero and all that jazz. I'm glad I keep getting me Gunner on my team.
Oh, Harvey Birdman. So it's basically a show about... It's like a remake, almost. like. So there's that superhero, but then... This is the mid-2000s, when this one came back. And then now... And now he's an attorney, right? So it went, it went from a cartoon super, superhero show a long time ago into now and now he wears a suit. And the bird character that he fights crime with or whatever is now his assistant. So, and then, like, there's an episode where. like so he's an attorney but he we learn about all these how, how all these cartoon characters from that time frame like the Flintstones and such are actually like criminals and he has to solve or he has to do he has to work as a lawyer with these people with these car cartoon characters so it might be droopy or it might be the Flintstones. Really funny show. It seems like all of the... It seems like all of the... All of the episodes are written by this one guy. And it's very fast paced. Oh boy. He needs to get Wolf is what he needs to do. Oh, That was a shame. So that show's pretty ridiculous. It's a good show. It's funny. I don't want to ruin anything, but it's it's really good. How much time? We're almost done here. I've also been watching The Adams Family from 1964. It's uh in case you don't know what the Adams family is, it's this very dark family. They live in a mansion, and everyone's really dumb, but they're like super rich. Like, there's this one joke. I I'll just ruin one. Maybe I shouldn't. Let me, let me think of one that I can ruin that won't. It won't be like the worst thing for me to ruin it. So Uncle Fester, that's his name. He He's bald and he and he speaks in a high voice. Kind of an older joke. But it's funny because the fact that he's bald and then he says, Oh, I have a knack for curing baldness. So that was funny. That's a great, <clears throat> that's a great show. It hasn't aged beautifully, but it's very funny. It's actually genius. It's like such a smart show.
Yeah, we won. Alright, guys, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.